Hello and welcome to the Maxon Video Quick Tips. This time we would like to show you how you can feed the variation shader with color swatches. We've got some clones here, coming from the cloner, and we already attached a material to the cloner. If we go to the color channel, we can now add the variation shader. Click here and then select variation. Select the variation shader and you can see the gradient down here. Now to add the color swatches, you simply select the colors and drag and drop them into the gradient field. But now to have a per object distribution, we need to make some changes. Click on the small arrow and change the interpolation from smooth knob to none. Now we do a right click and click on distribute knots. So the last color is also visible. Now we need to make some changes to the variation shader itself. Gradient blend needs to be 100% and random color needs to be zero. Also the gradient mode needs to be changed from normal to replace. On the left side you can already see the colors on the clones. Make sure that you use the interactive render region because the variation shader colors are not visible in the editor. They are only visible while rendering. So this is a small trick to see them anyway. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.